video that has been posted to TikTok and has had about a million views now, I believe. Um, and it's about a woman who says that she lies to her kids about their bedtime every day and that her tip means that they're always in bed on time and people are calling her a literal genius and say, oh, excuse me, uh, and, and saying, why didn't I think of this? Um, it's not really a controversial one, I don't think. Um, mm -hmm. As I've just read the article and I've just seen the, the clip and technically she doesn't lie. So the idea is that she has a bedtime of 8 p.m. for her child. And at seven o'clock, she will say to her child, do you want to go to bed now or do you want to stay up late? And the child, more often than not, will say that they want to stay up late. So she sets an alarm for 7.45. And when the alarm goes off, that means that it's bedtime. And then she does the nighttime routine. And that usually can take anywhere between five and 15 minutes, which means that her kid is in bed for eight o'clock. And it doesn't ever go past eight o'clock because they think that when the alarm's gone off, that's eight o'clock. But she never discloses the time. So it's it's basically she's lying about the time, even though she doesn't tell them the time. Okay, okay. whatever yeah. works for you. I mean, I didn't, really, I didn't really understand that because you know what Finn's three <laughs> and he's fairly intelligent, but he doesn't have a concept of time as he's yeah. never looking at his you know Rolex going. Well, really, Daddy, we've got fifteen minutes, and you said that at quarter past. He just goes to bed when we. I don't understand no, how parents are getting it wrong. Right. I don't understand how many parents are like. We said 8 p.m. The kid knows. So here we are at half 11 and they won't go to bed. Like, who's, how is this a thing? I don't know how that's a thing. My kids are in bed by eight. I literally go to bed. Brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, you just start your routine early. early this, yeah. this woman yeah. is just doing normal things, normal. right? <laughs> what's yeah. her, um, what's her, how old are the kids? That's the, the question um, I was going to ask. Let me see. I don't think it says. Because surely they would not. It, it would only work if they don't know the concept of time. Well, is, yeah, is that's it, what I mean. Yeah. Is it more the um? Is it more the uh? Do you want to go to bed now or do you want to stay up late? So they think that actually they're cause, yeah, because yeah. I think so that's that, more uh, what it is. Is, it? Is, yeah. is it more that bit? Because I know my obviously my son's not old enough to sort of have that excitement of staying up late yet. But mm. my nieces, mm -hmm. oh my god, they get so <laughs> excited at the idea that they're staying up late and. And, you know, they actually have, I think they are, they're sort of, sort of four, five, six, that sort of age, particularly the six-year-old, she can tell her, her, her bedtime's come and gone, like if mm. she's around someone else's house, or it's coming and going, and other <laughs> people, like if you're at their house, and she yeah. knows her bed, she sort of goes quiet, and she's in the corner, and she's like, my bedtime's, like, you, you can tell, and I know that she knows. So, but actually, if, I suppose if you said to her, half an hour earlier oh past your bedtime you're staying up late even if she wasn't she might she might think that extra half an hour was a proper win even though it wasn't because her bedtime hasn't gone past yeah. so i wonder if that is the, the what she's saying and i think it's a bit clever i don't think she's a genius but i don't, I think, think, she's she's a genius. Genius. I don't think she's just doing doing what <laughs> most parents would do to us because it's yeah. like ava and sebastian their bedtimes is eight o'clock Okay, so before eight, it's like, okay, half seven, this means brush your teeth, go to the toilet before bed. By eight, you're in your room, go to sleep. Ava is not someone that falls asleep quite quickly. She's eight. So literally, she'll be still be up. The time she'll be up, tell her she's still awake in bed because she's not really much of a sleeper. Sebastian is out like a light. He's five. Mm. So it's, as long as you're in your bed, sleep. I'm not, when you fall asleep, that's up to you. But your bedtime is eight. I think what they're saying is, is if you at 7.30 or 7 o'clock came mm. up and without saying it's 8 o'clock, so yeah. probably lying, implied it might be 8 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go to bed or do you want to stay up an extra hour? Yeah. And essentially, but this is for kids that... As I said, this you know, is for the younger kids. So, well, I don't Small know. Kids, I would say. You know how old they are. But it yeah. also falls apart because if... So my, my son's three and a half now. His bedtime is six, but if I if he was tired, tired, and I tricked him into going to bed at half five, he would wake up half an hour earlier. <laughs> yeah, 
Do you know what I mean? Or, or an hour earlier, or, or you know, or he might lie in, but more often than not, he gets like a. He probably if he goes to sleep at six, he wakes up around six. If he goes to sleep sometimes at seven, he wakes up at seven. So I guarantee, if he was tired and he went to bed earlier, we keep him up because otherwise he is in at five in the morning, <laughs> and then we. Yeah, and then, we had We had this the other day. Our youngest, who's two and a half went to or fell asleep in the car on the way home at oh no five o'clock danger nap danger nap danger well nap. no 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 because it's close enough to bedtime we just thought well you know what we'll just put her to bed um so we put her to bed and we were watching ghostbusters afterlife and we got about 45 minutes in and i heard something upstairs and i was like I guess you we're gonna have to leave this till tomorrow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Really, you have three. You should know by now. <laughs> normally, normally she's pretty good. Normally, she would have slept right the way through. So I don't know why she didn't this time. But <laughs> from five o'clock. Yeah, if no. she get, if she's tired. So she... when? What is that? When? About half past six. Jeez. She um. She always wakes up at half past six. Regardless, she get about eleven o'clock at night, and she will be awake at. Half past six. Teach me your ways. You are obviously a <laughs> wizard. She's a grumpy little <laughs> mare the next day if she goes to bed at that, like New Year's Eve and whatnot. But um, yeah, no. Um, she doesn't know what the time is. You could put her to bed now, and she'd go, "Oh, it's bedtime then." Um, the only the only thing she does say is, "It's dark. It's bedtime." Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when it's light in the morning she will open the curtain and go wake up daddy it's morning um but she has no concept of time like what the time is she's she's two and we've not gone through that yet mm. yeah those mood like things are meant to be good aren't they that um <coughs> yeah by those the uh the like glow clock things that are in the room we have yeah. just we've just got one actually yeah um mainly because we're going through a wonderful period of the past few oh, months of the regression. early morning wakes no it's not sleep regression i don't think it's been going on too long and mm. it started with an illness where we all went into uh where we took like we did some bad habits to sort of get through it and then um it's breaking think, those habits, bad it? habits it's sort of yeah and and we won't do there's so many things that we don't particularly like with regards to you know sleep training and the rest of it so we're sort of persevering but he is going through periods of uh, early morning waking which is which we're all struggling with to sort of um even though he doesn't really understand it yet it's sort of getting those cues and those other things so that clock in the corner is blue which means you which you know sleeping it's night time you know and then mm. and then as he gets older it will be sort of established so that's what i don't we don't expect it to work now but <laughs> we've we've just started using a grow clock and it's working amazingly yeah absolutely fantastic piece of kit that's well, good because the other thing he already does sometimes but doesn't do a lot or he and he used to do particularly before was actually he used to wake up um and just play in his cot until he noticed it was sort of light or, or it'd been a while and then because we'd hear him on the monitor and then he would, and then it'd be an hour or so later, he might actually call for us. Um, but he sort of stopped doing that. So actually, that's another good thing that the glow clocks for, grow clocks uh, is good for, right? Is that, well, actually, you could teach them it's fine if you're awake, but no one else is because the clock says, because the clock says, you know, it doesn't need a time, does it? It's, it's other visual cues. So yeah, we're hoping that works. I hate 5 a.m. It's only one five o'clock in the day, I think. <laughs> well there should be anyway <laughs> yeah there's anyone i want to be awake for it's not that one yeah it's uh yeah it's fun mm -hmm.